Um, can I start? You had a big celebration this year. There was a big birthday this year. Uh, what was that? <laughs> what celebration? <laughs> Wasn't it? What, was your birthday in February? Oh, yes, yes. Can we say which one it was? Well, you know, I became 80 and I, I'm very... <laughs> There's no way anyone would think you're 80. Absolutely not. You're incredible for 80. Well, I, I'm surprised too, you know. I mean... <laughs> uh, what do you do to keep in good shape? Because you look incredible. You have fitness. Well, I don't really... Or... See, that's another thing. Uh, most people think, oh, well, I haven't done any um, exercise, so I have to give up. Don't give up. I mean, any time when you start doing it, it works, you know. I mean, your body is really a very uh, sensitive and, and powerful thing. And I, I just, you know, most people think that, oh, she must be doing exercise every day or something. No, I just forget and do some work or something. And I say, oh, I better do some exercise and just... And what kind of exercise do you do? Well, I, I like to walk. So just Walking nice... is supposed to be very good. A brisk walk? Mm -hmm. No jogging? No, no jogging. No. Jog, well, I, mean, I could jog maybe too, but I don't. <laughs> no kickboxing? Fun. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And do you, do you, are you someone who has a very strict routine about the, the number of hours you sleep, the amount of water you drink? No. Right now, I just finished making an album, which wow. is really great. This is incredible. How many 80-year-olds are sitting at home saying, you know, I've got to finish that new album? <laughs> because since your 80th birthday, you've had a number, another number one dance single. Yes. It's incredible. So you've had how many number one dance singles have you had in the States? Ten. Now? I had ten consecutively. Ten number one. Ten consecutively. <laughs> And this is since your 80th birthday, you had another <laughs> yeah, number one. Yeah. Wow. But you still have the energy to go on stage, you still perform. Well, see, that's another thing that I realised. I mean, just like everybody else, you know, I thought, 80, well, that means that maybe you'll just be asleep or, you know, <laughs> always in bed or something. No, you get more energy, more energy than what you had before. You... When I hear music, my body starts to... Yeah. You know. <laughs> Let me ask you about something, and I've never asked you this, I don't think, is for all that period when people were blaming you for the breakup of the Beatles? Well, you know, I've been blamed, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 years now. You so know? you were aware of that going on? You were aware oh, that's what I people were Oh, I was fully aware of it because it was like they were jabbing me all the time. Like acupuncture, you know? it, it is probably actually healthy that people jab me and I was turning that negative energy into positive energy. And that's why I think that one of the reasons that I'm healthy now is because we're healthy. Well, sort of healthy. <laughs> healthy is because uh, I went through all that. And thank you very much. <laughs> so the negativity, you could turn that into a positive in some way. But it was very sweet recently, I thought, that Paul came out, Paul McCartney came out and cleared the air a little bit and said, look, you know, for those people that who That was are... very sweet of him to yeah. do that. I'm sure that, you know, she got tons of letters saying, how dare you say that? I mean, you know, because they like the idea of us being in a boxing ring, you know, sort of fighting. Also, it's good to have, like, people like having someone to demonise, people like having yeah, someone yeah. to blame, you know, and you were, you were the easy target, I guess. Well, you know, we know each other for such a long time, and, and he's a very sensitive and intelligent guy, so, of course, you know, she understands what was going on, yeah. that it wasn't going on. Yeah. What's your favourite song that you've written? Well, I like all my songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your mum and dad, they didn't approve. When you married John, they didn't approve of that, did they? I felt that um, they wanted me to become a very good classical musician. And instead of that, I married into a rock family, you know, yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. And so it was the whole rock and roll, the kind of anti Yeah, exactly. It's a little bit prejudice towards rock and roll, I suppose. Yeah. Um, let me ask you a question. This is, and I hope this doesn't, isn't too personal, but you, you still live in the Dakota building in New York. Yes, I am. And that's I'm the building, there. of course, where John was murdered outside. You were with him when he was shot. Yes, but, you know, it was our home. That was the only home we had. And uh, with, well, that's the only home I had with John. I'm not going to leave it. And 